So, we all know by now that Ubisoft is very well much in the toilet right now. There's honestly only a few options they can go. Just watch it crumble or sell it. And I've seen a lot of videos talking about it, but I haven't seen any videos on YouTube on what it means for Rainbow. I know this isn't usually my type of videos, I'm just... Trying, I try to be, you know, funny moment videos, no controversial, but I feel like this is something that has to be talked about, especially since it's a game that I kind of just jumped into with my entire channel. And now apparently the company itself is going under, not just the game, the entire company. If you haven't heard about everything that Ubisoft is going through by now, their stocks have crashed dramatically over the past couple of years, and that's due to the lack of uninteresting titles to put it in a more tamer way that they have decided to put out half released half baked or not even just fun at all most recent games being star wars outlaws avatar and of course skull and bones god every time i see that goddamn game in my app library premium edition i just want to cry man that by itself will never get me to pre-order a game ever again in my life but now it seems like they are solely banking on assassin's creed shadows and oh my god there's so much wrong with the game already and the game's not even planned to be out this year anymore yeah it was delayed and not even showed up at what is it the japan showcase for games, I'm not exactly sure what the name is. And it has such bad negative press right now that they are literally buying bots to promote the game and say that it's good. But anyways, Ubisoft's other titles I'm not here to talk about today. I want to kind of discuss what's going to happen with Rainbow. So the two options, like I said before in the start of the video, option one, when Ubisoft crashes, and that is when it does, by the way, the game's just gonna cease to exist eventually. It's barely being held up by their new content because there seemingly hardly is any. The next season's literally just gonna be another rework of a character, no new character, probably no new map, just more shit for us to buy. Like I've kinda briefly discussed in my last video, the ranking system is pure butt cheeks. You get a three, four run string of good games where you just completely shit on coppers, bronze, and silvers. And then they think, oh, well this team is doing very good. Let's go put them against champions, which doesn't make a lick of sense to me or anybody else in this community. And at this point, they're they're putting in such low effort that they reskin half of the shit that's been in these events that they've been putting out. And to me, anyways, it seems to me like there's kind of a dying or lacking state of variety in this game. Like, yeah, the Doctor's Curse is out currently, but only for 17 more days by the time this video comes out. And it's basically just a hide and seek, but still, like, why can't we just have this in the game? For customs, at least. Like, you can put it in the arcade mode, even. Oh, but delusional, it's it's only an event, and it, it's supposed to be a limited time event, so it can bring back players for the- Or option two, they sell it to a company who has the most interest right now, which is just a company that develops greedy marketing phone games that scounge you for every last dollar you have in your remaining Apple ID. It's been said a thousand times that the only profitable thing left for Ubisoft is Rainbow Six. That's why uh, That's why they at least have a few dollars in their uh, trade market right now. And they aren't really seeming to do anything about it or at least address it to everyone. They just keep putting out bad titles and bad games that don't do anything for the gaming industry besides put another low review game up for how many shitty games have been out this year. Ubisoft just needs to get their shit together, honestly. They need to start listening to the community and what everyone wants in their shit. Cause I mean, as of right now, they're, well, for Rainbow anyways, they're not listening. And it's not a dev, problem it's the higher-ups who don't have really any sense of awareness of what the hell is going on they don't take criticism they don't listen they're not having any plans to remove the horrible ranking system that they have right now and instead they just bring back another event bundle which i said again have colored reskins that i shamelessly spent 50 dollars on but going back to my original point what is going to happen to rainbow rainbow again is their only profitable product 
currently. And so what I feel like needs to happen is they need to start listening now before shit gets too bad to where they can't fix. Or this game, along with all the other Ubisoft series titles and everything that they have, will soon cease to exist. Because if it gets bought out by another company, it's gonna get a whole lot worse and probably not listened to even more by the community. And so this game will die. This game has already been dying, as some people say in on social media. But I'd like to think it's not, only really because I kind of just jumped on this game to grow my channel. I, again, if you don't know, I, I do want to stay a variety gaming channel. It's just I know that having one game to build up my a small base on is really helpful to start off a YouTube career, but I digress. And it's honestly so tragic to see because anyone who actually involves themselves in this game, developer-wise, it, it's out of their hands. They're forced to do what the higher-ups think is good for the game. They're just so out of touch with everything. So honestly, what I think will happen with Rainbow is it's gonna continue to slowly slope down until either it gets right to the brink of where it's so bad where the higher-ups actually start listening or it's gonna go under. And I hate saying that because I do like playing this game most days. I enjoyed this game, even though it is getting stale. If they would just listen and put in what people want to be put in, it would work. But it they just really don't seem to fucking care to do that. It's, it really is just unfortunate, man, to see what's happening to Ubisoft. A company that used to be held to such high standards is now just a company that is expected to put out shitty titles. Ever since Star Wars Outlaws, no one has faith in anything that Ubisoft is involved with anymore. I just thought I'd come on here and say that really quickly. I kind of needed a video for this week, and I know, like I said, this isn't you, my usual content, but if you liked it, please make sure to go show your support and go check out all my other videos because I have a lot of rainbow content now. All a lot more, uh, more lighthearted and entertaining than this video. But if you made it this far into the video, I greatly, greatly appreciate you, and... Yeah, I hope you have a good day. Legends never die. We've been going every night. I've been feeling way too blessed. But with Lex, I'm never stressed. They don't know just what we do. We've been out here with the crew. They don't know just how we live. Think we got too much to give. I've been going in and going in.